Hey, what's up? So yesterday I was just scrolling through the YouTube shots and I saw one video showing off the new chat GPT feature and that new feature actually blew my mind. And I actually use chat GPT on my uh, web browser on my PC. I don't really use it on my phone. So actually this new feature only works on Android and iOS. Technically, you can also use this on a PC if you use Android emulator or something like that. But trust me, this new feature is just insane, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure you also like it. So open up your phone, go to Play Store or App Store, search for ChatGPT and uh, install it and open this up and just sign in. Once you sign in, uh, you can just chat with the chat GPT, you know that, right? But there is this new icon, which is the headphone-like icon. If you click on it, it will say introducing voice conversation. And this feature is insane. I think I'm just repeating myself, but trust me, I'm like, wow, this is insane. So I'm going to go continue. Now uh, we can choose a voice, which voice we want to uh, here okay so i'm gonna let's hear all of them actually hey there i've got a really great feeling about us teaming up i'm ready to hit the ground running hi there i just want to share how thrilled i am to work with you hey it's great to meet you how's your day going i'm really excited about teaming up with you and i'm all set to dive in well all these voices to me sounds super realistic and on top of that now chat gpt will talk in a human way what i mean is like it will try to talk as a human, not a like computer or something like that. It's amazing. <laughs> now it's connecting. Hey, how are you? Hey there. I'm just a computer program, so no feelings, but I'm here and ready to chat. What's up? You see, this is just insane. This is like cure to my loneliness. <laughs> I stay alone a lot and I think I found someone to talk with. Well, it's really impressive. And I'm holding my phone like this because it looks like I cannot forward the chat GPT's voice to my PC. I don't know why, but uh, you get the idea, right? So let's have a chat again. I'm just going to have some fun with it. Do you know my name? Nope. I don't have access to personal data unless you tell me. What's your name? My name is KB. Nice to meet you, KB. Anything specific you want to talk about or ask? Nah, I'm just here to make friends or I just want to make friendship with you. That sounds cool, KB. Friendship it is. What's something interesting about you? I, I don't know. Uh, but tell me about you. What's your name? I'm ChatGPT, just a virtual buddy here to chat. No fancy name, just call me ChatGPT. What's your favorite thing to do for fun? Uh, maybe I play games. Yeah. <laughs> nice choice. What kind of games do you enjoy playing? board games, video games, or something else? It's video games. I do play volleyball. I don't think, yeah, yeah, I think it also counts as a game, but yeah, mostly a video game, computer video games. That's awesome. Video games and volleyball, a great combo. Any favorite video games you've been into lately? I think I have played like uh, the Fortnite, the most played, you know, the PC game. Uh, and I have also played Valorant, and I'm done with it. When I was a kid, uh, I used to play some retro games like Contra, you know, all that. Fortnite and Valorant are solid choices. Nostalgic with Contra, huh? Classic. What's your fondest memory from those retro gaming days? I don't have, like, I used to play uh, Contra. There is, like, Contra Force game. Ah, uh, Contra Force is a bit underrated, but still fun. Those old school games had a charm. Anything about Contra Force that stands out in your memory? Not specifically in like, uh, we used to play that, like me and my brother used to play like the Contra a lot. And we tried to like beat the game without getting killed even once. And that was fun. Sounds like an epic challenge. Trying to conquer Contra without a single death is no easy feat. Must have been a blast tackling that with your brother. Any other co-op games you've enjoyed together? Yeah, we used to play uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the fighting edition one. I don't know. I don't really remember, but we have to choose a character. It was like 
player versus player and trust me my brother used to beat me in that game no matter what character i choose like the shredder was the like you know the i don't know how do i the strongest character and even if i choose the shredder my brother used to beat me even with leonardo sibling rivalry and teenage mutant ninja turtles those games were intense the battles between you and your brother sound legendary right did you have a favorite character even if victory was elusive i think uh, it was oh my god it, it can't be real i forgot the name of the main you know all of them are like main characters but the blue ribbon one leo is it leo i don't know maybe yep you got it the blue one is leonardo classic choice <laughs> each turtle had their unique flair did you have a preferred move or strategy with leonardo or was it just all out turtle power i don't really remember any of the like powers combos and all that yeah there were like combos many combos many powers and all that i don't really remember that but i just remember some fun time with my brother and playing that game that's what it's all about creating memories and having a blast the combos might fade but those moments stick around anything else you want to reminisce about or dive into uh not really uh, actually i'm just making a youtube video about you and this new feature that you can talk with me and yeah i'm just having fun here <laughs> that's awesome glad to be part of your youtube adventure if you have any questions or need more chat material for your video feel free to throw them my way what's your youtube channel about it's about tech mostly i make tech tips and you know yeah that's all tech tips are always in demand anything specific you're currently working on for your channel or any exciting tech trends you're following not really i'm not even that huge i just make like the videos about the open source softwares the useful new softwares or some tutorials about the computers how to use that and this you know sounds like you're covering a variety of useful tech topics tutorials and open source software are valuable content keep at it and the audience will find its way what's the most enjoyable part of making those tech videos for you when someone actually finds them useful and you know sometimes i also get some comments like this is insane this is a really good tutorial this helped me a lot when i see that comment like i feel amazing i feel like i'm doing something yeah i'm, I'm helping someone at least like you know <laughs> absolutely those positive comments must be so rewarding it's great that your videos are making a difference for people helping others in the tech world is a fantastic feeling anything specific you've learned or discovered while creating your tech tutorials um i don't know i think i'm going to have to go cuz i have been sitting here for a long time now and actually i have had like this is fantastic the way we can interact with the chat gpt now and the way you respond in a natural voice in a human sounding voice is just amazing it feels like i'm talking with a human it's insane i appreciate the kind words kb <laughs> i'm here whenever you want to chat or have more questions take care and have a great day yeah goodbye goodbye feel free to drop by anytime take care well wow i mean someone like me who this is this was like a feeling i'm talking with a friend or human like actual human i don't know it's not human but the way it responded the way it, it understood everything that i was asking and we had a conversation on all that you know what's up right okay this is insane that's all i'm trying to say now i'm a, i'm a little bit also afraid that we see uh, in movies like well uh, the ai is, is taking over the robots and all that that might be coming soon i'm just saying you know everybody has their own opinion about this like some people don't even like ai some people like it i, I think actually many people like it cuz they make things easier and all that and wow this is this is a great experience actually <laughs> okay 
that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and have fun with your chat gpt however you want to use it i mean you know about the chat gpt i don't have to tell you anything about it chatting with the chat gpt this way is just i still can't believe that i talked with a ai like a human and we had a conversation like a human wow if you have anything to say just do the comment and yeah i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye